Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to take an old piece of original furniture that you're not allowed to change, paint, do whatever to. You have to keep the original piece of furniture the way it is, but I'm going to show you how to make it modern, youthful, and interesting. So how do you take this classic South African piece and turn it into something that you'd enjoy to sit around if you're not allowed to change the piece of furniture that you have? I'm going to show you how. So what you guys will need is a original piece of furniture, a tin, an interesting piece, a rug, a pile of books, another pile of books with something interesting added to the top, your favorite magazine with a current pamphlet and another turn and another piece of interestingness. And lastly, you'll need your beautiful suitcase. So my favorite thing in interior design is to offset the lines of the original piece of furniture that you have. So we need to look for something that runs vertical instead of horizontal like this piece of furniture. So I'm gonna place this piece of furniture horizontal, running the same way as the fireplace and running horizontal instead of vertical like the couch it's placed in front of. And then place something underneath it that runs vertical that's also sort of coffee table-like. So what I found was a beautiful suitcase that tells a story. As you can see, I have found my beautiful used suitcase, something that tells a story. So this one's very used. So the handle's broken, but it's still there. It's nicely leathered. As you can see, it can be used as a coffee table as it's flat and sturdy and blocked shape. So it's got beautiful stickers on here from its past life, hotels and railways and places it's been to. It's got a stamp from the suitcase maker and then it's got beautiful ends of leather that's been bolted on. So, we are going to face the story-like end of the suitcase to the entrance of the lounge where people would walk in and see it. So we're going to place it underneath the table, running vertical instead of horizontal. So just underneath the table, and you want to place it exactly the ends of the suitcase at the end of the table so that it doesn't look odd. It looks like it's been placed and then it's part of the table. We still need to add some magic to this table, don't we? Some life, some personal items. I always feel like interior design lacks the personal touch of the owners of the house. So here's my first piece of magic added to the coffee table. So I've got a collection of books that are personal to me and they've been placed perfectly on top of each other in straight lines with the name bits of the books placed on top of each other, but it's still running straight lines across from one another. That's mimicking the straight lines of the suitcase underneath. So what I have is I have a book about film from the MoMA Art Gallery in New York. Um, I'm a filmmaker, a film student, so of course that's personal to me. I'm a big car lover and my favorite brand is Mercedes because of its car heritage. So I've got a Mercedes book, I've got a book on Cape Town, hidden places, places to travel, places to go to. Cape Town is one of my favorite cities in South Africa. It's the design head, it's the art capital of Africa. I've got, of course, a book on art. Then I have another filmmaker's book. And then on top I've placed an old jewelry box. I used to play with as a child, filled with things. So I've put that right at the top. Now we need to offset this structure placed here because it's too heavy on this side. We've got the suitcase, we've got this. It's feeling unbalanced, so we need to balance it out with something physically as tall or heavy on this side. To start off our offsetting structure at this end of the coffee table, I found something, a tin, that's basically the same size in diameter as this structure in terms of width. So I found a 60s retro Krispy Kreme tin. I love the brand Krispy Kreme because it's started in the 60s, it's retro design, it still keeps that authentic heritage that it has. So I have this tin. I'm going to place the name so that when you come in from the lounge you can read it 
from that side of the entrance of the lounge. So I'm setting it here on top of this tin to equalize out the balance. I'm place something that balances out the height of this structure. So something, for instance, you can put on top of this tin is something you can put more books if you want to, but it might look a bit boring, a bit like overdone, overkilled. You can put a beautiful vase on top or a piece of art, a statue. You can place a candy bowl. But what I found is a beautiful old vintage working silent film projector, which I was given by a family member. It still works, it's still beautiful, and I think it's very personal to me. So I've placed that again, running the front of the projector to the entrance of the lounge. And I think this whole structure creates something to look at, something to talk about, and it offsets the height and weight of this structure on this side. Now, in my opinion, we still need something on this structure to make it part of here. It still feels like it's not really part of the story over here. So you need to bring in the suitcase into the coffee table to make it merge and make it feel like one entire unit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stack a pile of books again over here with something interesting on top of the books to end it off. So I've got my pile of books. I've placed it running horizontal lines again, like the stack of books above. I've got a book on the history of art. Once again, I'm an artist, I'm a filmmaker. Those are things that are personal and things I love to me. I've got a book on script writing that was personally given to me by a script writing lecturer, a screenwriter. She loved the script that I made for her one day. So she gave me this book, she signed it. I've got a book on history again, and another book on history, things that interest me, places and time. I love um, British history, so those things are close to me. Then on top I've put a box filled with memorabilia with my relationship with my partner, um, dates and things we've been on that I keep in here. And then to offset the structure to make it interesting, I've dried out a protea, very South African, beautiful, and it sort of just offsets that structure a bit. And again, you need to place it at the end of the suitcase, but because the suitcase has these leather structures at the end, you can't go in between them. You need to go with the vertical line placed behind those leather blocks. Okay guys, so you might think it's done now, but it seems a bit too cold still. The floor underneath, I don't know, it's not, it's not ending off completely. This side looks still too heavy compared to this side of the table. So how do we offset that heaviness, that unbalancedness? It's a rug, carpet, mat on the floor. So now what we take is a rug, a mat or a carpet, but it needs to be dark in color because of the dark wood of the coffee table and the dark green in the suitcase and the dark colors offset in the books. So what I found to place underneath the coffee table is a beautiful Muslim rug that is dark in color. It's interesting, it tells a story. And now with the mat and the carpet and the Persian rug that you found, that you're placing underneath your coffee table, you want to offset the vertical lines and the horizontal lines that you've created. So here guys is my beautiful Muslim prayer mat that you would pray on. So it's got beautiful hand stitched patterns of flowers and it's dark in color like the table that we've chosen. So now I'm gonna place it underneath the table, but remember, place it sideways, not horizontal nor vertical, but sideways. Okay, so here we have our completed image, warmth added. So you can either leave the space in the middle empty to place coffee, to place anything you want while you're talking with friends around your lounge area, but I, being the busy, eclectic self, I'm still gonna fill this area with something personal to me, with my favorite magazines. So once you place your magazine of choice down, mine is the Magazine House Wanted. So I'm gonna place the magazine down. On top of the magazine, I'm gonna place a pamphlet from somewhere I've gone recently, which is um, the wine from Babylon Sturen in Cape Town. On top of that, to offset the flatness of the image, I'm gonna place another tin a small tin of black and white with no color, so it doesn't offset the colors added already. And that tin is from New York when I recently went to go visit my partner. 
and then I'm going to place a little piece of um, decoration which is close to me and mine is weird I know it's a car key um, I used to drive a Mini Cooper my one of my biggest favorite car brands um, it was my dream all my life to own a Mini Cooper I finally got one but unfortunately it was stolen but I still have a spare key so I placed that on the coffee table also to create conversation and story and something close to me 